All right. Good evening. So it's time for the t um, the tour of the room. So what we're going to do is look around and see what we can see. All right. Flipping the camera around here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay. So to orient it ourselves here, this is the the little bedroom area. This is the outside world. Outside world. Um, nice glare from the. But the main thing is we have a little chair, a little table, and phone. Nice stands. Uh, the bed. And then again, we have the little, um, I call, it's my little workstation, editing station, and that little box right there is the descending line, and then there's a crane right in the corner here. Let's see if we can take a peek at it. Okay, so descending lifeline, you attach it right here to this thing and swing it out the window. Then you hope that you survive. All right, so looking around the room again, got some luggage over there, a little luggage stand there. That's my backpack for carrying the camera. Second nightstand and swinging around again. We have the television set with the little internet unit. Now the technologies, swinging back again we have a little tiny screen right here. So this little guy operates the various lights. So there's one that looks like a bathtub and then there's the light, 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 light. And so you could hit each one of those and if they turn green, that means they're off. And they beep. So that means all the lights are off. So it's very dark except for of course my video light there's no lights in here and then there's a fan little one it looks like a fan if it focuses right there so this is the fan for the bathroom I'll turn that back on bathroom light on all the other lights on and they give a little satisfied beep then there's this little button here that turns all off and back on. So that is the button that turns everything on at once. So if you want to get up in the middle of the night, hit the bottom button, it turns it all on. Of course, we have these various plugs of every sort. Um, and I've got my converter. Sometimes I'm using two converters because there wasn't enough of the first type of converter. So I converted the first converter to the converter, then put a transformer for the iPhone stuff. All right, so that's how that little little guy works. Then we have a second one that is right here. Now this one has heat up and down. So we've got heat up and down. And then we've got lights that control. So there's a fan for the bathroom, bathroom light. So you hit that button and then the bathroom light comes on and then this button, the fan turns off and the fan turns off back on. So that one just controls heat. So this is all off, all on. Pretty simple. Now the final part of this whole thing so we'll grab, let's say this is the room key. Okay, room key. And when you come in, you activate it by putting it in the slot. So you put room key in, and then that activates the whole room. So in case of emergency, you have a flashlight. And of course, this operates fan, bathroom, bathroom light, off, on. And then we've got the fancy toilet. Now, there's a little, they've got little gizmos here, and then there's a gizmo up here, and then there's this. 
So looking here, the only button I tend to use all the time is this button. This is the flush. Pretty simple. Then these got two different settings for washing thyself. You press the button and you find out what it does. And so if you want to turn it off, hit this button here, turn on the wash. So you put yourself in a wash cycle, turn off the wash cycle, flush the toilet when you're done. These other settings, I have no idea what they do. I suspect they play music or do something very wonderful. I'll never know. I've tried, but I just don't understand the language here. So um, in the shower here, we've got bath towels. And then over here, the very functional shower. So we've got a, this has a swing arm. Just grab that here. Oh, there you go. You swing it around wherever you want it. Then you've got this right here for the hand nozzle and it's all controlled simply by this little handle. And a place to keep the soap. And it's got this, it's all glassed in. Then down the bottom, it's got wood. A little drain right down there. So that's pretty much it. And the door closes like this. There is a small lip down the bottom. And then you've got um, a little bath towel. So you've got the door right here and there's a little swing out mirror at the sink area. A place to keep one's shoes. And then of course, there's the mini refrigerator. Now, one thing I didn't say before, it's kind of nice, is you've got the refrigerator here and then you've got a drawer right here. Now, if you were to keep your socks in here, which I tend to keep some socks in here, it warms anything up that's in this. So I wouldn't keep chocolate, but anything you want to keep organized that needs to get warm. Now there's a little mini pot here for hot water. Then I organize all my little medicines, doodads, hats, and extra limbs and a uh, lint roller there. That's how I organize things. And there's a bright light right up there. Let's see, focus. There we go. And that is about it. Oh, then a neat little feature here is the drawers glassed in. So you could see what's in the drawer before you open it. And all the little cubbies and compartments in there. And then I think I showed you the closet before, but we'll do it again. Closet, there's a upper shelf, suits, a little safe, and a shelf. And I think this might be for dehumidification. I'm not sure. It senses the humidity. Now, in here, two parts. Dehumidifier there, and there's a, either a sensor. It's right here at the top. There we go. And that's the two parts for the dehumidifier and fan. And then at the very, very top of the ceiling, there's a little panel where they access the plumbing, I believe for upstairs. Now the door here, it operates very simply. You grab a hold of this handle right like this, and it does a soft close. And then it gives whoever's in there, if you had someone with you, a little privacy, and it keeps the fan noise down. This is pretty much it for the room tour. So again, formal room tour requires formal attire. So let's see where we are at. Again, we got the room and you got the room tour now. Bed, luggage, sitting area, and the view of outside when it's not dark. Um, television, oh, that's the one thing I didn't really cover. When you turn on the room, the television comes on. Now, as far as features go, you hit these buttons here. 
there's internet at the top of course it's a Samsung Korean TV and it has various shows you could access and channels so they give you a little um, hints of what kind of shows you could watch um, they seem to be very, very Asian specific shows um, I haven't found an English channel anywhere so if you um, speak the local languages in the um, its region I think it would work out really well but for me I don't speak so much of that so that's about it I'm learning a little bit here and there and I'll pick up more as I go so that's it we'll say goodbye and until next time